welcome back to my cooking channel. My name is Todd and this is Fat Boy Cooking. So let me just give you a little information about myself. Um, I was born in Texas and raised in Louisiana. I have family in South Louisiana so I grew up with Southern cooking. I currently live in Houston. I work for a managed service provider as a senior sports specialist. So I've been doing IT for 25 plus years, been cooking for a lot longer than that. So, so let's get started. So today we will be cooking a baked whole chicken with vegetables. So let's get started. So this is our whole chicken, which I got on sale this week. So what we are gonna to want to do is we're gonna to wanna to clean it up and we're also going to want to remove the backbone so that way it'll lay flat when we're cooking. So what you're going to do is you'll see the neck bone here and I use a serrated knife and cut through the bones and be extra careful so that you don't cut yourself. There we go. We're getting there. All right, so that is the first half. That little bone right there. I'll get that with a pair of shears here in a minute. Then we're gonna cut the other half out. And you can save that for stock later. Um, just freeze it up in a Ziploc bag and you should be good to go. So I'm going to clean up some of the fat skin on both sides. Perfect. So now that we've got that done, next thing on the list is we're going to make up our seasoning blend. So we're just going to set this in a bowl to the side for now and we will get back to him in a little bit. So for the seasoning that we're going to use on the chicken, um, we are going to be using some basil, some garlic powder, some onion powder, parsley flakes, a little bit of cayenne for bite, some rosemary, thyme, smoked paprika, and some black pepper. So being we're going to use this blend for uh, the vegetables and the chicken, we're actually going to double the blend, I mean the seasoning blend amount. So normally it'd be half a teaspoon of salt, which we will be using one teaspoon of salt. So there's the salt, that's the side. Then we need some fresh pepper or some ground pepper, which is a quarter teaspoon which equals to be a half a teaspoon. Put that in there. Then we're going to do smoked paprika, which is a half a teaspoon, which will be a full teaspoon. One, two. Then cayenne, it says an eighth. So we're going to kind of just measure that out roughly because we don't want it too hot then garlic powder is a half teaspoon and about a garlic powder which will be one teaspoon total that's one two powder then we need onion powder which is a half a teaspoon normally so it'll be one teaspoon total Then some dried thyme, which is a half teaspoon again, and will be one total. And the recipe will for the seasoning blend will be at the end of the video in case anybody's wondering. So the next one will be basil, which is a half teaspoon, which will be one teaspoon. And we're going to do half a teaspoon of rosemary. Yeah. 
which will be a whole teaspoon being it's a double batch. And then finally, parsley, which is a quarter teaspoon, which will be about a half a teaspoon. So then we're going to mix this all up. And then get on over to coating our vegetables and our chicken. So that's next. So let's get moving on to that. So we are going to be using a pound of carrots and a pound of potatoes, uh, the little small ones, which you can use either the little white new potatoes, red potatoes, but today I decided to do a medley blend which is the white, the red, and the purple. So we're gonna mix this up just a little bit. Then we're gonna coat these with a couple of tablespoons of good olive oil. And probably a good tablespoon or two of our blend, our seasoning. Sprinkle that over them. And then we're going to mix that up and get them all coated. There we go. And you're going to need a large baking sheet lined with aluminum foil, which will make it a whole lot easier to clean up. So let me wash my hands real quick. And then we'll pull all this on a baking sheet and we'll need to set our oven at 400 degrees and we're going to bake the chicken for a good couple of hours till it's rough till it's about 165 degrees internal so we're going to spread this around and now we're going to move on to our chicken All right. so we now have our chicken and as you can see, it's nice and flat. So then we're gonna get us a little bit of olive oil and rub that on it, so that way the seasoning will stick. Don't need much. Just a little bit here and there. I'm gonna rub it in on both sides. And we're gonna take our blend and sprinkle it. I'm going to rub that in also. And we're going to flip them over and do the same thing on the inside. And be sure to rub it around. chicken and place it on top of the vegetables and then into a 400 degree oven till the internal temperature of the chicken reaches 165 so let's get this in the oven and then we'll check on it in a little while so the chicken has been going for roughly two, two hours. So let's take its temperature and see. And as long as it's over 165, we should be good to go. And it turned out nice and pretty. Good caramelization on the skin. So let's take its temperature here. So we always want to check the thickest meat first. And generally that would be the breast and we are getting a temperature of 167, 168. So we're going to check the other one just to make sure. That one we 
reads about 172, oh, sorry, 174. So we are good to go. So let's go ahead and pull this out the oven. And we're going to get this all plated up. So let's go ahead and get us some of these vegetables. Now I need to be careful because this is very, very hot. And not going to be fun to get burnt. Vegetables are nice and tender. I actually prefer the thigh and the leg. I generally will use my chicken breast for over a salad or if I get a sudden craving after um, I'm done with the uh, thighs and legs. So, and as you can see, perfect, pretty, and delicious. So, I hope y'all found the video enjoyable and and, and uh, like it. I will be uh, posting uh, new videos are posted every Tuesday at about two o'clock. So give it a try. Questions or comments, leave them in the sections below. And remember, like, share, and subscribe. And see you at see you at the next cooking. Bye.